If you have a family and decades of life experience, a comfortable life, it may not be easy to move somewhere, even if it's for your children. But this video is a testament of our clients who made the leap of faith and moved from the Middle East to Canada. Grab yourself something to drink, sit back and enjoy this video. This story is a must for any immigrant who's moving to Canada with their family. Susie Carl, first of all, thank you for coming here. I really appreciate you making the time. Tell me, what made you leave the Middle East? Because you didn't have a bad life there and come to Canada, to Vancouver. <laughs> okay, so in the Middle East, your time has an expiry date. So we wanted to come to a place where we can build a future and we decided to make it Canada. Yes, and of course, the beautiful nature environment and uh, the good reputations of the family oriented, that's why. It's pretty green here, eh? Very. Oh, yeah. How would you compare it though, Canada to the Middle East? Maybe there's some things you miss, some things you wish you had here, or is it all rainbows and sunshine? We feel a lot healthier here. So the air is cleaner, the water is cleaner. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we don't get sick as often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're definitely feeling physically a lot healthier. You get sick less in Canada? Yes. Because of the air quality? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Health is wealth. Most people moving to Canada do it for their family. So I decided to ask Susie, as a mother, about their children's life here in Canada. So, um, uh, the kids, you know, um, I feel safe here. I mean, more safer than my own home country, Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia, and of course, South, South Africa. Uh, but the kids like, um, uh, you know, but I still need to be vigilant and of course the surroundings because they are still small. Yeah. Uh, Ambrose is six and Emily is four. He, mm -hmm. She just turned four. So yeah, I feel safe, but still need to be beware of our surroundings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's important that our viewers understand that Canada is not a dream. There's always some exactly. cons to it. And one of them is homelessness that we spoke about. Oh, so maybe yes. in some pockets of the city, you may feel some disturbance or maybe unsafe. Yeah, I, um, I mean, of course, uh, the first time, like I didn't expect it to be a lot of homeless here in Vancouver especially. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, I, I show my kids when we are inside the car and I'm like, okay, uh, uh, Ambrose, Emily, they are the homeless people, you know, okay. And then like, they will not disturb you because I think that they don't disturb you. It's just like, um, you know, the status of like them being homeless, that's it. I mean, and, um, uh, but the, the safety around them, for myself, uh, without the kids, it's okay. But of course, you will not like you know drag your kids to go to East Hash things and <laughs> have shopping there. Yeah? yeah. So yeah, but so they uh, need so to far, be aware. Basically, they need to be aware. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what about their social life? Uh, for kids, you know, moving country to country, it's a lot of stress, anxiety, mm -hmm. just like for adults. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel your kids adjusted in the new place? Do they make friends? Do they feel good going to their schools or daycares? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, for Ambrose, uh, he's a bit introvert, yeah. But um, the thing is, he's like get used to it. You see, kids easily adapt the environment that surrounds you. And Emily is a very friendly person. So Emily goes to daycare, and she has lots of friends. She make uh, new friends in just one day you know uh, but Ambrose is taking time and from him he's very quiet so he uh, always like you know okay I need to really know this person first before I get to be friends be good friends with them but so far now we are like five months here mm -hmm. uh, yeah he, he have friends and a good friends as well so. Many of you watching this may have heard about how expensive Canada is getting, so I decided to ask the money question. You have two children, it's uh, two adults, it's a pretty large family I would say. Uh, what are your monthly expenses? Okay, now if we take out what we're paying for my MBA mm -hmm. and for Susie's makeup course, roughly about 8000 a month. Wow, 8000 yeah. Why don't you break it down? 
Okay, so rent we're paying 3,300. Mm -hmm. Then we got some storage as well because we came with all our stuff. 151 <laughs> yeah. boxes. Because, it's a container ship or Yeah, it was yes. a 20 foot wow. container. Because <laughs> we, we moved from Qatar, everything had to come with. You know, we, we couldn't send anywhere. So, okay, so we got that's 300 bucks a month. The car is 500 with mm -hmm. the insurance, no, 600 with the insurance. Daycare, okay. <coughs> 1,200 a month. Yes. <laughs> we did, uh, no, for only for Amberley, our, okay, yeah. our daughter, because she just fun, uh, turned four. Oh. So Ambrose, um, there's no fee for Ambrose. Big difference. Uh, talk to me about rent, you said 3,300. How did you find the unit and uh, what made you go for it? Okay, so that was quite a lengthy process. So we were using Craigslist, live.rent, uh, any other, we were calling agents, we were, we were trying everything. And then well, Craigslist was the most useful. Um, once you figure out how to work with the people, you have to send an introductory email mm -hmm. explaining who you are, everything else, just for them to respond. Almost like a job application. Yeah, so yeah. you give like four or five sentences just to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and then I looked physically, I looked at 10 places. Mm -hmm. um, some of them a bit dodgy. I would never let my family live there. Um, but then we came across this one. Yep. And, you know, once you find the place, the next step is to get approved from the owner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that's kind of the, the first hurdle to get, or the first hurdle is to see the place, second hurdle, get the approval, and then you sign the lease. You may be asking, how do I immigrate to Canada and get permanent residency? Carl and Susie decided to get my firm's help. And when you decided to move, uh, you invested in getting help from my immigration firm. Why did you go with our immigration support and not do it yourself? Uh, first, because um, Carl tried to apply for some jobs in Canada so he did like how many uh, I think 40, like 40, 40 different applications yeah. but it's not successful so 40 job applications yeah and, and yeah no one like no one uh, get back to you so um and then I did my research and then I google and comes to your page so you know Max you're a very very interesting person Thank you. So, you know, I got a good feeling with you, you know, okay. so it's like, oh, he's not a scammer. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. So that's why we chose you. What made you feel like I was a good guy? So you found our YouTube channel and how did that take you to invest in our legal services from an immigration firm? Mm -hmm. So the quality of your videos, yeah, everything is like, wow, it's, it's good. So it's like towards our what we interest to go to Canada and then like I think this guy can help us out so um, I discussed with them um, Carl and I said like why don't we give a try with this guy Max <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah and then we did and then I contacted you and then we had this uh, lovely conversations with zoom and everything and everything goes well and thank you so much because if not because of you we will not be able to to be here in Canada. Well, you're a valuable addition to the country, so I appreciate you being here. Yes. Tell me more about the experience of working with us. So you worked with our lawyer. How was the process for you going from zero to getting your study permit? Oh, actually, uh, for for me, I'm in a time consuming. It's very, very hard. Um, because Carl, he got his uh, visa approval within like less than two weeks. But uh, yeah, yeah, for myself and the kids, we have to go back to Malaysia yeah. and we have to wait around four to five months, is it? Yeah. Or less than five months to get everything approved. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the kids are away from the daddies so we miss calls, been apart. That's the, the worst uh, and the challenge that we mm -hmm. um, yeah, have. Yeah, I remember your posts this. on Instagram exactly. about missing each other. Yeah. <laughs> They have done a lot to be here, but it's only the beginning. I think we all wonder about the future. So you've been here for five months, and as I imagine, just like any other person, you'd walk around this beautiful neighborhood and you would ask yourself, can we live here? Maybe we buy a home in the future. Do you have those thoughts? And if so, what are your future plans the next five to 10 years? Definitely, you know, um, 
actually I falling in love with Vancouver, especially in Burnaby. I love it. The view, oh my gosh, the air, it's so yeah, so nice. This is just mesmerizing. Uh, mesmerizing. So um yes, we do have plans to buy a Pachasa house, but depends on of course the stability of our financials, of course the stable employment. Yes, but that that will be our top priority to get a house one day in maybe in the near future, four or five years. <laughs> mm -hmm. So home ownership is a goal for you. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Off camera, you told me that another goal you have is you know Carl is studying and you are currently doing a course uh, at a makeup school. Makeup school. Uh, yes. Tell me about your future plans with that. Do you want to work for someone, start a business? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, actually I used to be a makeup artist back in Doha, Qatar. Um, here, um, yeah, well, I told you that I've been studying and I need to get the certified certificates as a professional makeup artist and then I can get a job. So um, I'm planning to be uh, a freelance makeup artist and uh, to open my own business, which is maybe selling a beauty products. And cosmetics. You did that in the past in Qatar, right? Uh, yes, yes, I yeah. did it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that one is like mostly to, to towards skincare. So this time around, I would like to go for the cosmetics and beauty um, makeup. So that's my plan. That's I beautiful. hope I can <laughs> and open this business and like you know. Do yeah. you feel like there is enough demand in Canada for that? Yes, especially during the summer. And then um, another thing is like uh, you can, I can always like apply to to uh, do makeup uh, with the TV commercials or in the film industry something like that. But at this moment, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do some uh, makeup. Uh, maybe we'll work in you know uh, beauty shops like Sephora or Mac. Yes. To get experience, to do some market to get the, research? Uh, yes, to get the experience and market research to, uh, for my uh, future investment. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> like that. Investment. You're strategic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, all the best. Uh, I could wish you continued success. And Thank you so much. I hope your strategy yes. works out. Thank you. Uh, this place is definitely Amazing. worthy of being your yes. new home. And I would like to thank you from the very bottom of my heart, okay? Um, if not because of you, we, would, we wouldn't make it here in Canada, you see. So thank you so much. You're a great thank contribution. You. Yes. Thank you. And it's so lovely to work with Max, you know. <laughs> so, so lovely. <laughs> thank you. He's very friendly and very, very good person. <laughs> yes, we try to be friendly and professional exactly. at the same time. Yes. yes. Well, thank you. All the thank best you for so you. Much, thank Max, you so much, Max, for having me. Yes, thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Enjoy Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank we you. often underestimate what we can accomplish over one year. This family went from a Canadian dream to Canadian reality, from Qatar to Canada, all in one year. I strongly believe that immigrants are future leaders of this country. This country's secret formula is people like you and me. Despite people who say Canada doesn't need any more immigrants, I'd like to share what the former Minister of Immigration told me regarding this. You were the Minister of Immigration, now the Minister of Housing. Is Canada closing its immigration door? If so, what's the goal of it? No, if you're not Indigenous in this country, your family came from somewhere else. Uh, mine came about 250 years ago. Uh, yours may have come more recently. It doesn't make one of us more Canadian than the other. 100% of our labor force growth is coming from immigration. Quarter of the doctors, uh, more actually, uh, in this country uh, came from another country. Nurses. Uh, that, nurses, uh, yeah, it's actually about a third of the doctors, a quarter of the nurses. Uh, the skilled trades people who will help build the homes, we will still have to rely to some degree on newcomers. If you're interested in Canada, make sure to like and subscribe. And in case you need immigration help, click on the link in the description to book a time so that we can make a game plan for you and your family.